<laughs> well, we've been talking for weeks about the Insider Program. You get access to exclusive content and contests. And as an insider, you also get to learn a little bit more about us. News 6 Insider Crystal Moyer is here to share some background about one of our very own morning show team members. Oh yeah, he's in the house right now. If you're an insider, that means you get all the tea when it comes to <laughs> our News 6 talent. We send a newsletter every week highlighting one of our reporters, anchors, or meteorologists. You get to know a little more about us and what we do outside of the newsroom. So in our insider survey, Lisa Mariano from Coco said she would like Troy to talk about his experience when he was a storm chaser. Our morning show meteorologist Troy Bridges spent years as a meteorologist in Oklahoma chasing tornadoes. I asked him about his experience as well as some other questions so you can get to know him better. I left the city of Augusta used to doing a lot of fun in the morning on the morning show, right? And then going straight into the fire in Oklahoma City where we had F5 tornadoes. And I would chase them at a television station there. And I think I didn't quite know what I was getting into at first. The scary part about that is that when you are going after this tornado, you want to track it, you want to follow it or be you know, riding along this tornado that could stay on the ground for, you know, a couple of hours, for miles and miles. Um, you are on country roads often, uh, going 100 miles an hour to keep up with the storm, because keep in mind how fast these things move and the winds within them. Troy sharing this video with us as he covered the aftermath of a tornado in 2003. And this is part of the roof off of the YMCA here in Bethany. You can see it behind me, the roof swept away and swept into the parking lot. I also asked, what do you love about being a meteorologist? To be able to help people understand what's going to happen before it happens. So when we can inform people in a positive way without being alarmist and scare them, but to actually help them be prepared during some of the scariest times of their lives, that is, that is rewarding. If you follow Troy on social media, you'll notice he likes to post pictures of his socks. So I had to ask, what's the deal with posting pictures of your socks on social media every day? I posted a sock on Facebook and I realized people liked it. People responded to it and were interested in it. So I started wearing the socks. I'm like, okay, let me buy a couple of socks. I didn't think it was gonna turn into a huge thing. And then people would send them to me. Viewers sent them to me, family members, my mom. Here is when the temperatures dropped, everyone cared. Cold weather, you've gotta wear a coat because it's 40 degrees out. Four comments, 18 likes. But my socks, my Disney socks about Christmas, there it is. 88 comments, 208 likes. You explain it to me. Crystal, what? What is it? What is that? Troy, I don't know. I mean, just give the people what they want. They want to see your socks every day. I love it. I, he has quite the sock collection now. I'm posting more of my conversation with Troy as well as some of his old weather videos on our insider page. Y'all, I went through these tapes. Vintage. I didn't even know what they were. Okay, I had to pull out, <laughs> dust them off for you insiders. So make sure you sign up, it is free. And then let me know what you want me to cover. You can email me at insidercrystal at wkmg.com. And I have seen some things on here. Woo. Pretty cool stuff. You were in the dark hallways all in the back of the <laughs> studio. <laughs> we, next time we wanna see the sock closet. I How know, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's, Let's get do some that. photos. <laughs> yeah, I love that the viewers and the insiders get to see like the Troy that we see right. all yeah. the time and why we love him so much. Oh. And so that's such a such a nice little glimpse into why he's just why he's Troy and why he yeah. makes us so happy. And in the beginning of the of the show, we talked about the positivity, and mm -hmm. you can just kind of it just exudes out of that. Yeah. You know, oh yeah, out of that the interview. atmosphere. When I walk in in the morning, I'm just like yes, I'm feeding on that energy. Yes, he he, he certainly is a ball of energy.